I guess you have to shout them out, so I... Well, that's know. because they're called shout-outs! Okay. Proceed. Proceed I shall. Okay, we got several new people to welcome to the community, so let's start there. Valentino J, welcome to the neighborhood. Jessica Warple, welcome to the neighborhood. Sierra Riley, welcome to the neighborhood. Sue Pete C, welcome to the neighborhood. Beatrice Carmichael, welcome to the neighborhood. Gibson Vlogs, welcome to the neighborhood. James Gottfried, welcome to the neighborhood. Elaine W, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, we got The Abyss 92882. Happy 79th birthday this past Sunday. To his grandmother. I hope you were safe and I hope you had a wonderful 79th birthday. And our daughter in law, Lucy Owl. Yeah. She is trying really hard to reach 200 subs, guys. We gotta help her out. She's got a giveaway at 200 subs. Ooh. She's not telling us what the giveaway is. She's going to surprise us. So let's get her to 200 subs so we can see what she's talking about, guys. Come on, 200 subs. Let's go over to Lucy Owl's channel. Check her out. <clears throat> Show her some love. Okay, time for thoughts and prayers. As always, thoughts and prayers go out to the lone wolf. My father, Fred, Pa, Dad, whatever you guys call him nowadays. Always thoughts and prayers to him, my mother, and the entire family. Margaret Clevenger going through some rough times right now. She's been going through them for a while and has not asked for thoughts and prayers because she's been saving up her thoughts and prayers for everyone else. So... It's time to send out thoughts and prayers to her. So, Margaret, you are in our thoughts and prayers, as well as the thoughts and prayers of the entire community, I am sure. Um, Kyle, he had to go to the ER by ambulance. He couldn't breathe the other day. And he was having a real hard time breathing, so they had to call an ambulance. And it turns out he has bronchitis, severe case of bronchitis. Mm. And, and he has inhalers and everything. So thoughts and prayers go out to a quick recovery for Kyle. We finally got an email from April, Proud Mama 77 Let's see what she has to say. I was only at the ER for one day this time, thankfully, because I am starting to really dread hospitals, and so is Haley. I have quite a bit of kidney stones, and I've had, to, had them several times before, and they hurt bad to pass. Tell me about it. But I'm hanging in there. The pain medicine makes me nauseous and dizzy, but it does help quite a bit. Other than that, a couple of meds work really well for my back and are still making me gain weight. Granted, it's not fast, but I've never weighed this much, and not even when I was pregnant with Austin or Haley. So I'm torn on whether to keep taking them or not with all my chronic abdominal issues and me not weighing enough to qualify my doctor won't give me a referral for weight loss surgery. She's been trying to get the gastric sleeve surgery, and her doctors have been denying it, and she really does need it. As far as Haley, they are 95% sure it is not cancer, but we'll know for sure when they remove it and send it to the lab. From what they can tell 
from her CAT scan and multiple x-rays to them it looks more like a calcified mass rather than a tumor but I will definitely keep you posted on her as well they don't want it to cause any lasting damage is another reason they are removing it and also it has grown each time as they compare all of her many x-rays and I know it's necessary but all of that radiation exposure isn't good for her either so I'm going to have them refer to the ones they have now instead of letting them take any more. She's my baby girl and I will continue to protect her in any way that I can. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Hey, you just hit me in the head. Hey! Did you guys see that? That was uncalled for. It was a preemptive strike. How did you... Why preempted? What makes you think I was going to hit you? But Because you always do. What do you mean I always do? We've gone through months and months and months without me hitting you. I hit you last week for the first time in how long? <laughs> okay. Ugh. Okay, so last week's question had to do with... Um, movie Sinister and Sinister 2. I think I asked about Sinister 2. What was the main character's name? And the answer is, he didn't really have a name. They never gave him one because in the first Sinister, his character was not that important and it was just for comic relief. So he's referred to once by the main character in the first movie as Detective So-and-so. And it's... What? Deputy so-and-so. And in the Sinister 2, he's called ex-deputy so-and-so, although nobody actually calls him that. He's just referred to that as that, since he's no longer with the police force because of what happened in the first movie. So, those who got that correct was Greg Myers got it first, um, Terry Johnson, and the Abyss 92882. Woohoo! Today's question has to do with movie The Deep Blue Sea, which is uh, another one of those shark movies. Had quite a cast in it, and the question is, what what similarities, what did it have in common with the Jaws franchise? There's, there's uh, four things. A shark? They might be more, besides there being a shark. Oh. Four things, not necessarily things, but events that... Um, are in tribute to the old Jaws series. Water. Continue. Finish this thing. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. Keeps hitting me. And we will see you all next week on another episode.